Okay, Levi Onzerike has been a guy that we've kind of had our eye on because he was the second pick of Brad Holmes' tenure, and he just didn't have a great rookie year. And it's like, man, we need this guy to play well. So I'm going to tell you what they're seeing already this offseason from him and why it looks so good. So here's what's so important to understand. He was not healthy last year. So um, if you look right here, it's like, hey, he knew he had to take care of his body. This is what Todd Walsh had to say. And he said the biggest thing right now is that he's not limping and he can actually sit in a chair for meetings. So he was not healthy last year. So knew he had to get stronger, knew he had to do a lot of things because really what we liked about him when Brad Holmes took him was he's explosive. He's big, he's strong. And remember Brad Holmes discovered Aaron Donald. And so he knows the importance of, man, if I can get a D lineman, that's disruptive, this could be huge. So we took Panay Sewell last year, then Levi, and the Levi pick we didn't see coming. So it's a pick that Brad Holmes just has to nail in this rebuild that we're in. So let's see what they're saying about this dude as he's been um, in Allen Park, I think all off season. I, I don't think he left and he's staying, getting healthier, getting stronger. So if you go down here, they're, they're saying that he's been here at the practice facility every day and he's looking jacked. I'm kind of excited about that one. So the D line coach is like, dude, you just need to get stronger and healthier. And, and from a Detroit lions perspective, that's great because it's like, we can do that. Right. I can't teach you things. I can't, I, you know, but I can, we can get you in the, in the weight room and we can get you strong and we can get you healthy, hopefully. So we have a great opportunity to see Levi and Aleem McNeil. These are two defensive linemen that we took last year that didn't do terrible, but man, you're not drafted second and third round at the beginning of a rebuild. If we don't think that you're explosive, if Brad Holmes doesn't think you're explosive, able to get to the quarterback. So now if we can get those two guys able to be active, getting towards the quarterback and then Josh Pascal, get him in Aiden Hutchinson. Now we've got, we've got a pass rush with four guys that we just have not had in a long time. And when we were at our best, we had Indomitian Sue, Nick Fairley, Willie Young. We were able to get pressure with four. Remember that wide nine? It was just, I feel like every play we did four, four guys rushed and we played the rest in coverage and it just worked for us because we we're able to get pressure with Indomitian Sue or however it worked. And it was, it was a game changing thing for our team. So if we can get Aleem McNeil and Levi playing strong, looking stronger, their second year, just naturally going into your second year, you're going to be a little bigger, stronger, know the game a little bit. And remember he didn't play his senior year. So he sat out senior year last year, wasn't healthy. And then this year he has a chance to really pop. So he's a guy that I'm just really keeping my eye on because if he can pop along with the other pieces that we've added, now we've got a defensive line, still don't have the linebacker depth that we want, but it will matter less when we have a defensive line that can really do stuff. So last year it was really hard on our linebackers because our defensive front just wasn't getting the pressure, wasn't doing things that you'd really hope for in a good defense. So you, you can see last year we weren't good defensively. And so what that forced us to do was do a lot of that double A gap stuff. We had found success with, and I, I expect us to do it more, but we were blitzing. We were just doing anything, which I give the Lions credit for. I give Aaron Glenn credit for because when we were with Matt Patricia, he he would rush three every time, or you know, he never would blitz. And it's like, dude, we're we have a losing record. Like, who cares? Like, stop the bleeding. Where Aaron Glenn would bring blitzes. He was trying something, but it would be so nice if we could rush four, get pressure with four, play coverage. Because, I mean, when you're playing Aaron Rodgers you got to get pressure with four and you got to cover. I mean, otherwise he's too good. He's too quick that you just, it's going to, it's going to be hard for us. And, and really doesn't matter if you're Kirk cousins, it just doesn't matter. You're going to have um, trouble. If you're going to have to blitz, you put your, your defense in a position where you there's going to be gaps. There's going to be holes. And then it really leads to one missed tackle. And then you're really in trouble. So Levi's looking good. Um, hopefully Aleem McNeil's looking good. Hutchinson comes in. Hopefully he's plug and play. Hey, I don't expect him to get, you know, 10 sacks this year, but I expect him to be able to get in, play, be strong, be a presence. And now all of a sudden we have a D line that we just have not had in a while. So don't forget about Levi. 
Don't forget about Aleem. And, man, the defense could just be better. I don't expect it to be great. Nobody does. We're, we're another draft class away from that. we got to get these rookies in. But if it could just do better than it did, because you remember our, our defense was terrible last year. Um, really, I mean, they, they were terrible. So it was very difficult to, um, get in any sort of rhythm as an offense or as a team. And especially the offense was bad too. So it was just uh, compounded, but now, Hey, let's get some three and outs. Let's stop. Let's get, hold them to field goals. I mean, just little things that will really help the offense and vice versa. So really looking forward to it. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. But this video was to update you that Levi is looking good. Coaches are noticing. He's been there off season, getting healthy. So we will see you on the next one.